Next up is Craig's Pro. It's ninety nine cents. Um, don't like it as much as I like App Start, but it's definitely good, and it definitely if you're addicted to the Craigslist, like I am now and then. Especially when you move, you either need to get rid of a lot of stuff or acquire a lot of stuff, and it can be a great way to sort of do it cheaply. Um, and Craig's Pro is an app that sort of taps into that database and makes it sort of easy to search. Uh, functionality wise, uh, it's almost perfect. Uh, you can type, you get your city, you can change cities, you can change what category you're looking in, and you can say sort by low price, sort by high price, and stuff like that. So let's say I'm looking for a couch. Uh, it'll bring things up. It'll have images on the left of everything, a description there. You can switch to the map view. The uh, fact that they have the images in the yeah, search tool is, which is huge. You, because you're like, okay, it has an image, and you click, and it's just like, you know, the dude's face going like this, and it's like, I don't, I don't, I want to see what the couch yeah, looks like. Yeah, and that to me is, is, is totally a reason to buy that app. And I almost bought it before the show, and then I was like, you know what? I'll wait until after yeah. I see Jacob's review, and then I'll buy it. So, uh, uh, so yeah, it, the functionality works, works really great. There's a little things uh, that are a little odd. Like you can't, you can sort by price, low to high, but what it seems to do is any app, any um, listing that doesn't actually list the price. Of correctly, it thinks that's a low price and lifts it up top. So I'm clicking a thing that I'm assuming is free and it's $800. And that's a little um, crufty. The map view, and I'm assuming this is just because most people aren't putting in exact locations, is sparse. Like you can see I have almost 100 results for a couch in Los Angeles. Um, but when you go to map view, it shows like eight. Um, if it ever wants to load. We've had network issues. There we go. Do you think that's because that's only when people specify yes. exactly where yes. it I'm is? Sure, I'm sure that's why. So but it's, so it's useful, but note that you can't rely on the map thing. Yeah, the map function's probably Default to sort of a global, uh, global scope. Uh, you can do photo view, uh, which will uh, show you just, if you just want to, you don't want to hear what they're trying to spout, spout you out. You just want to see that's what it looks really like. That's really cool. That's yeah. helpful. Um, and that way you can get rid of these stupid things that says, look, we have a photo of it, and it's not actually a photo of the couch that you're looking for. Um, so it's really helpful. There's a few uh, minor quibbles, like I said, the price to low thing doesn't work exactly how you would expect it. And it's also sort of the antithesis of what Craigslist design is about. Craigslist is all about minimalism, and it's all about the information, which hinders it, like when you want to see the photos on the listings. But at the same time, they have like, I don't even know, a coffee cup up the top left, and it looks like it's a piece of paper. And it seems like that's not necessary, and I it's sort of detracting from me just wanting to get the information. So uh, could it be a little bit more thought out design-wise and a little bit more minimalistic, t true to the Craigslist way? But it's a great way to navigate, and I think better than using the website.